Hi, Tasty Nation, Investor Nation, and anyone who wants to learn how to trade options. Today, I have a little bit different kind of video where I'm going to talk about synthetic equivalency using options. And another name for that is share equivalency or synthetic stock. So I've been thinking about doing this video for a while, and I just got one of these drawing tablets, which allows me to write things on the screen. So I'm going to give this a shot and see how it goes. So my first example of synthetic equivalency is just long stock equals long call plus short put. So as an example of this, if I was to buy an at the money call, that would be 50 delta or 50 shares. And if I was to short an at the money put, which is also the 50 delta, that would also be equivalent to 50 shares. So 50 shares and 50 shares is equal to 100 shares. So if you don't remember anything else from this video, just remember that to get 100 shares of stock, all you need is a long call at the money and a short put at the money. Add them together and you get 100 delta, which is 100 shares of stock. Okay, so I popped over into my trading platform to give an example of this, and I'm using SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF, as my example. If I was to buy 100 shares of SPY, you can see that the notional value of those 100 shares is 44800 and it's asking me to put up $13,450 in buying power to make that trade. So there's a bit of leverage involved there just to buy stock. My brokerage is giving me some margin and normally I would have paid interest on that margin. But now what about the synthetic version of that? And I'm going out 30 days for this example. So if I buy an at the money call, this happens to be around the 47 Delta. I've got my strategy builder turned on. And then if I was to add to that a short put, so I'm selling a put also at the money and the Delta on that is around 53. So the Delta is just add. So I'm getting plus 47 Deltas from the long call and I'm getting plus 53 deltas from the short put because I'm minus a negative. So I'm adding up the deltas there. That's 100 deltas, which is equivalent to 100 shares. And look at the margin impact. The buying power that it would cost me to do this is almost exactly the same as buying the stock, which is 14,100. Now you can adjust that buying power a little bit just by moving these strikes around. So if I was to move the short put out of the money and move the long call out of the money, you can see it takes a little bit less buying power and it's gonna take less buying power the further you go out of the money. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna stick with the 50 delta, the at the money call and put. So that's 100 delta. Okay, so back over to my equation here. So remember long stock has a long call plus a short put, but what if I was to now isolate long call here and solve for long call? So long call is equal to long stock. And then I move this short put to the other side of the equation, which gives me now a minus short put. And another way of saying that is long stock plus a long put, right? Because minus a short is like a double negative. So minus a short is the same thing as plus a long. So that's my second synthetic equivalency. And then for my third synthetic equivalency, I will do the same thing, but now isolate a long put. I can just isolate this equation for long put here. So long put is equal to long call on the other side of the equation here. And then I move the long stock to the other side, which makes it a minus long stock, right? And then the other way of saying that is, Minus long stock is the same as short stock. Okay, so long put is short stock plus long call and long call is long stock plus long put. So let's just do the last two here quickly. So short call is just equal to the negative of long call. So the negative of long call is negative long stock and the negative of a negative is now plus short put. Okay, and that's the same thing as just saying instead of minus long, that's just the same thing as saying short stock. And then the last one, of course, is short put. We already have that one right here. Short put, move this to the other side of the equation. So short put is just long stock minus a long call. Or another way of saying that is just minus a long is the same as plus a short. Okay, so there you have it. So again, if you don't remember anything else from this equation, just remember long stock is equal to a long call plus a short put. And then we have these other ones here. Long call is equal to long stock plus long put. Long put is equal to short stock plus long call. And short call is equal to short stock plus short put. And finally, short put is equal to long stock plus short call. One other thing that I wanted to show here is that I could have gone from my original equation, long stock equals long call plus short put, and just taken the negative of that equation and gone directly to short stock equals the negative of this. So long put plus short call. So that would also give you short 100 shares if you did a long put at the money and a short call at the money. Okay, so I'm back over in my 
trading platform here. And just one last example I wanted to show today is adding up a bunch of different deltas. So three strikes, for example, expand my screen to make it a little bit bigger here. So for this example, I'm going to do a zebra, which was invented by Liz and Jenny on THC Trade. So if I do a zebra on the call side, the rough definition of a zebra is you buy two options at the 70 delta. So I'm going to put a two in here and then you sell one option at around the 50 delta. Okay. So remember our deltas are additive. So if I have two options at the 70 delta, that makes 140. And if I subtract a 50 delta, that brings me down to 90. So the share equivalency on a zebra is 90 shares. And if I put in the limit price here, roughly where it's trading, you can see that it doesn't cost me any buying power to do this trade, but I have to pay a debit for this. So this is another way of doing synthetic stock and using your buying power in a smart way to try and achieve that synthetic stock in a capital efficient way. So this would cost you a debit of $2,300. So that's a lot less than 14,000 in buying power to actually buy the stock. So you can see here, I'm paying a debit of $2,300. I'm putting up no margin, no buying power. And this graph here shows you, this is essentially like buying stock, but you're capping your downside here, which is just a debit you paid 2,300. So the zebra, the zero extrinsic back ratio is something that Jenny and I created as stock replacement. It's gaining lots of traction, not only at Tasty Works, not only with other people on the network, but kind of all over. When do you think our royalty checks are going to come? I think tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check the mail. What I love about it is seeing it. So in all these other trading places, people are talking about the zebras and the jade yeah. lizard as awesome strategies and they're breaking it down and saying it's a great trade and it's so interesting because it is totally traced back to us jenny and then if i do the same thing on the put side if i buy two of the 70 delta puts this is a put zebra and sell one 50 delta put again it's going to give me a delta of now around minus 90 which is equivalent to minus 90 shares or short 90 shares of spy so this is synthetic equivalency. And if I put in the price for this, it just so happens because of the deltas I picked that the debit I'm paying is only around 1300 here to get minus 90 shares. And this acts like synthetic stock, but it caps my downside at the debit I pay, which is the max loss right here. Okay. So well, that's awesome. So thanks for sharing that with us. And we'd love to see it. We may not be getting paid royalties, but it feels good to know that we created it. It does. We know, and that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's share equivalency or synthetic stock. Hopefully you learned something today. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comments section. I always respond to all my comments and I'm just looking to share my knowledge for free with everyone who watches this. I really enjoyed doing this and I'm really glad I got myself this digital tablet so I can do all kinds of equations like this on the screen in the future. And if you haven't seen my video on the definitions of Delta, make sure you check that out. Okay, thanks for watching.